Keith Rogers was one of a pioneering band of men around the world. He was captivated by the prospect of sending voices and music over the airwaves without wires. An incredible dream, as incredible as our dreams today of travel to faraway planets. Keith Sinclair Rogers was born in Summerside in 1892, the son of William K. Rogers and his wife Amanda Sinclair and he received his early education in the public schools of Prince Edward Island and at Prince of Wales College in Charlottetown. He began his career at a time when Prince Edward Island was behind other parts of the country in terms of technological progress and communications. In the 1920s, our island had the lowest ratio of telephones to people of any province and the use of electricity in the home was still a localized phenomenon. It was in such circumstances that this year's Junior Achievement Business Hall of Fame laureate, Keith Rogers, introduced Islanders to the world of local radio broadcasting. In 1921, he established one of the first radio broadcasting stations in all of Canada and was granted the famous CFCY call letters in 1924. A veteran of the First World War and the organizer of the 1st Reserve Army Unit in Prince Edward Island, Number 6 District Signals Reserve, during the Second World War, Keith Rogers always had a keen interest in community, provincial, and national affairs. Keith Rogers was a member of the Charlottetown Rotary Club, President of the Charlottetown Board of Trade, Vice President of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, Vice President of the Maritime Board of Trade, President of the W.K. Rogers Agency's General Insurance, President of Island Broadcasting Company Limited, and President of the Canadian Association of Broadcasters. He was also a member of the Canadian Authors Association and the American Academy of Political Science. Keith Rogers took a substantial risk in attempting to create a business out of a technology that was new and unfamiliar to the people he was serving. But because of his sensitivity to the needs of the community and his understanding of the potential of radio as a form of public service, he was able to ensure that the public would be comfortable with the new medium as opposed to being alienated by it. He also made an important impact on advertising on Prince Edward Island. With the development of broadcasting came a new and innovative form of advertising for local businesses. Keith Rogers transformed what had been a technical novelty into a thriving business and public service that would continue to grow and affect countless people long after his death. Keith Sinclair Rogers was a great leader in the communications and entertainment industries and an important personality in the cultural and economic development of Prince Edward Island.